Hey, what's up, gang? I'm back with another Ask the Coach series. I kind of hijacked Connie's training session. <laughs> she don't mind, though. She's getting some great disco music. And she's getting a Starbucks run here. <laughs> so I'm here with Coach Ivan Amante. We're, we're, we're literally about three and a half weeks out from the Phoenician Classic. And mind you, this was the first guy I came to when we started this Ask the Coach series. So I figured, why not suckle back to April. <laughs> so I'll go back to one of the coaches that has, has produced pros and constantly produced national qualifiers. Coach Ivan, we're three and a half weeks out, man. Without giving out any like trademark secrets, what do you got for us? For, for any competitor, it doesn't matter what division. Thanks for inviting me again. <laughs> and thank you for the t-shirt. Oh, you appreciate it, it really, man. really, really good. <laughs> so uh, uh, what I wanted to say is, at this point, if, if I had to, to say what's the most important thing to do, at this point you should be already set up with your, with the level of commitment that you have already established through the previous 10, 12 weeks, or whatever the amount of time you took to get to this point. And you should be rolling on your exercise routine, your nutrition, and the, the suit should be already made if you're a bikini model or figure model. Uh, you have already contacted the tanning company, your hair and makeup, your nails. So you should be already uh, lined up with all those things so you can pay more attention to your to your closing and presentation. Um, obviously, you already probably requested the time off of work. You probably already planned with the family the activities that you will be doing after the, the event. And uh, from this point and forward, we'll be focus on you know getting your mind right being uh, confident about your participation and going to the show developing the idea of having the time of your life everybody wants to compete everybody wants to do a great job everybody wants to win many people neglect the aspect of the enjoyment of the process so what i would like to let's say recommend to people is to think about the following what are the things that everybody that is going to a show has in common it's in the process? And you think about that, everybody will work out, right? Everybody will follow a diet, right? Everybody will be taking supplements to boost the outcome. Everybody will wear a suit, everybody will have makeup, everybody will have tanning, hair done, shoes. Everybody will go through the same process of registration. Everybody will go through the same process of weighing in and preparation. Everybody has to take time off of work. Everybody has to be angry and neg negligent to their families in the process because of the low carb and the hard work. <laughs> right. The one thing that makes a difference is presentation. On stage, very often, this is what's the thing three weeks out. Very often, you find many qualified athletes that, that have to be dismissed because they didn't put enough attention to the presentation. Like I said before, but this time you should be already set up on all the things that are included in the process of getting ready for a show. Your diet should be on point, no questions asked. You shouldn't be going out, uh, you shouldn't be partying, you should be focused on your program on your diet and your execution of your diet and communication with your coach from here on out is all about now that everything is lined up to pay attention to that presentation that will for sure make a difference on the show the day of the show the the five minutes right. of work <laughs> for, for all the work that we've done what do you want to order uh let's see i'm gonna take a trenta Iced tea with three pumps of vanilla. Uh, Trenta no iced tea with three pumps of vanilla. Three pumps of vanilla. No classic. No class. No, no classic. Yep. Okay. Can you hear that? No, uh, iced tea. Iced tea. Iced tea. Trenta. Trenta. <laughs> tea. <laughs> Green tea. <laughs> Two of those. 
Yeah, we're gonna start. Eventy Americano. Hot. We're trying to order some. That's it. I drink tea. All right. Coffee. Connie, what do you think? I drink coffee, but I've already had my coffee, so I'm on tea. So she's on tea today. I'm on tea. He's he's in these. He needs like four Americanos today. He's got a long day. <laughs> so I mean, in, in reality, is uh, one of the things that is important to say is these are opinions of one coach, and and to me, it's like the fundamental reality of why every coach wants to do. Every coach has a different style. I'm I'm I'm, I'm volunteering to provide this information as a form of illustrating the public about what what I believe that they should be doing at this point. But you have to also, with the respect that is requested and necessary for the relationship you have with your coach, to consider to follow the game plan that your particular coach or the person in charge is asking you to follow. At the end of the day, uh, many people uh, gear away from the simplicity of the plan of other people. And then the objective of a coach is to help you succeed. So to many of you who are out there, listening to this advice before you go on and, and follow the advice that many other coaches come in and help Chris with and then the, the Phoenician Classic uh, and then the pursuit that the Chris and Natasha has made to, to bring to the Valley a different kind of uh, event with a different set of rules. Never forget that the objective of your coach is to get you the best chance based on the system that they follow. So, while you accept this humble opinion, remember to defer to your coach, no matter what strategies you follow. So, uh, and then tell me about the event. Uh, what is, uh, what is, because I was asking the key the other mm -hmm. day, in terms of, um, he told me the event is sold out when it comes to sponsors. Yeah, well, so we, um, what's crazy is that because we, actually we got started late with sponsor, finding sponsors. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Typically, most people find their sponsors in November, December. We didn't start, we didn't start like really nailing down our sponsors until May. Okay. June. So we were pretty late to the game with finding, we actually finding sponsors. But luckily for me and my wife Natasha, we um, we had a great pool of people to be able to to come to and be like, hey, you know. I mean, I have to say, you um, guys are super proactive and. and for, for whatever it's worth is you guys are worth assisting and, and you know <laughs> well, uh, man, we not, appreciate not, it. not saying like not saying that you shouldn't but I can see that how diligent you guys both are in I mean with a smile on your face and I know that this that this business can be very very taxing very right. difficult so uh, and you know my exhortation to you is to not give up and continue to bring this event year after year and to the athletes and people who are watching this, if we don't support them, it's not going to last. So bring your friends and family to this event and and, and let, let them see you shine in your pursuit of, of that excellence you're looking for yourself physically and within the sport and, and, and to maybe recruit the new generation of people who are about to participate. Right. He's paying for it. <laughs> this is how I get paid for this interview. It cost me nine bucks to do this interview. <laughs> oh, you have to put the taxes. They put the yeah, taxes and, and everything. Gas yeah. And oh man. Okay, twelve bucks. Please. <laughs> so uh, yeah, any 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 particular special events? Now talk about the event that you guys are gonna have the day of the show. Yeah, um, actually, we're, we're taking on a different format. We're trying something a little bit different. Um, Explain. So, typically during a, during a show, you know, you got prejudge, you got mm -hmm. finals, and you got something in between. Normally, it's a long break. Sometimes it's a short break. Sometimes it's a guest poser. What we're doing is we're going to have a fashion show oh, wow. along with dining. So, while there's a fashion show going on, we're having dine out, dining service. How is that? How is that good for the family? So, what this does for the family is that you don't have to go out and search for food. Okay. We're keeping you at the location. It's a family event. They get they be able to see the latest, um, some of the lo some of the latest fashion designs from some of the local designers. Okay. Like who? Um. So, so for instance, we have Bilbo Bass coming out. Awesome. We have Vision, uh, Vision, Less with Vision. He's Lester, coming by. Yeah. Yeah. So when we have one big name, um. 
a designer that's uh, that we're signing on. I don't want to say it just yet because is we gotta nail down. Is it because Danny's no. got his hands everywhere? Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it's not twisted. It's not twisted. Actually, this is a national one. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. So it's this is a national time. one. Where my hot ass coffee? This is for you, love. So yeah, we got. Yeah, we got a national one um, that that my wife Natasha is. is Really close to nailing down. Okay, so let's well, stop talking about okay, it. So, we don't so jinx it. yeah, so we're not gonna jinx it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so dude, there's gonna be like a dinner and dinner like, like fashion, a fashion show. show. Yeah. Show. So, okay. so yeah, so it's typically it's, it's gonna be a dining service. You know, while you watch this fashion show, there's a dining service, and the show's gonna run straight through. You know, we're not doing a two day format. We're not doing a you come in the morning and then you leave and then come back at five o'clock. You know, show starts at nine. We're hoping to um, have pre-judging done by 12, one at the latest. Uh -huh. And then we have the fashion show with the dining service. Okay. So you get your choice out of a chicken meal, uh, salmon, or fish meal, or vegan oh, meal. Oh, so you have to like order yeah. it or? Yeah, like it's included in your ticket price. Wow. Yeah. So you, I'm you sign me up. Yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's a signed seating. You Let sit down. Let me turn lower. Yeah. <laughs> what about my kiddos? All right, so kiddos. Okay, so kiddos, we have a junior meal. Okay. So there is a junior meal as well. So they, it's adults have adult meal, juniors have a junior meal. Okay, so wow, this is pretty, pretty amazing. So yeah, we're taking on a different format, some completely different, something that hasn't been done yet. So and then um, we just wanted to give, because by us being former athletes, we, we, you know, we wanted to give the athletes some different. We wanted to give the spectators some different. Well, I mean, I'm glad that you guys are doing something different because the reality is that in terms of anything in life, one size fits all is not always the answer. And throughout the history of our different organizations, we seem to find separation when we are the same industry. Uh, if there are people who wanted to go all natural, or people who want to go uh, the, the, with the organizations that don't test, that shouldn't be a deterrent for anybody to change the pace of what they want to do. I'm, I'm an IFBB judge. I've spent my entire life serving the IFBB uh, outside of the United States. And as a coach, I don't get involved because I don't think it's appropriate for a person to be sitting in the judge's table and also being a coach at the same time. But that's just my, my personal opinion. But when it comes to the different organizations, this is a great opportunity to tell everyone out there, you know what? Whatever works for you, do it. Absolutely. And if you want to go the natural way and go to a natural organization, you want to be more showy and go to the WVFF, or you want to be more competitive and do, uh, you know, NPC. The organizations are to serve the, the public, not the other way around. Uh, and although, like I said, I support the organization, like the NPC and the IVB, who have given me the opportunity in many ways to, to showcase my work and put it in front of the, the, the general public with a great deal of success through the 24 years. This is this industry is in, uh, with one objective, the capacity to help people to fulfill their dreams and their potential physical fitness and look. So whatever organization is promoting that, we should support. Absolutely. Obviously, uh, you know, they are interested in political interest in organizations but I believe that when we come to the foundation of it at the end of the day competing uh, in any way shape or form makes people better no matter what organization you're in. Absolutely I completely agree it doesn't matter where it doesn't there's a there's a there's something for everybody so you just just pretty much you finding what you what's in line with your with your morals what's in line with your, your principles find out what it is and then pursue it oh and by the way the music there's in the background music in the background is uh <laughs> i asked chris what year he was born <laughs> so we can find some funky and this is what came this is what came this is what came up <laughs> Look, Sharon Lynn, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wrap it up. <laughs> Thanks, Ivan. It's always a pleasure to um, pick your brain. 
Oh, it's a pleasure for you to give, I mean, give out this content and this information to people that, you know, that are seeking it. So thank you again for always providing a great interview, great entertainment, <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, just expanding my knowledge base. So okay. I really appreciate it. I boss. wish you guys all the best and the bro will be there with my family and a couple of friends to support you. Absolutely. Right. Appreciate it, Ivan. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Connor, for letting me hijack your set. It didn't work out. <laughs>